Guys, I love me some AI. I guess you could say I'm an AI kind of guy. I know that was corny, but check out some of these images I've created. Website images, t-shirt designs, graphic designs, artists, cartoons, comic book covers, interiors, vector graphics, t-shirt templates, you name it, I've done it with AI. And in this video, we're gonna do Bigfoot, Bigfoot, take a sketch and turn it into Bigfoot, remix it, and then we're gonna get into some text that actually looks like text. Y'all ready? Here it go. Those look great, right? Because there are some things that AI is really good at, but there's something that AI is not so good at, text. Now, if you look at these, you can see that AI can sometimes make gibberish, okay? Not all the time, but AI is not the best at creating text on graphic images. I'm Gary, this is T-Shirt Help Desk, and let's get into some things that AI is good at and not so good at. Now, one thing that AI is really good at is using reference. What that means is if you find something that you like making a version of it, not, not stealing, not a, not just straight copying, but making your own version of it. All right. So we're going to go into Amazon and we're going to look at some of the uh, top sellers and we're going to find some inspiration. So we're in Amazon and I'm just going to go right here to popular graphic tees and i'm gonna go down just look in and see if i see anything interesting and oh aliens bigfoot you know i love that all right so i'm looking again and wait a minute this one oh this is the dad joke one check this out i keep my dad jokes in a database haha <laughs> get it database okay it's corny but it'll do and today we're going to be working in image presto all right so we're in image presto and we're going to launch the app and we're going to go right here to image generation okay all right so what we're going to do is we're going to practice using reference a couple ways okay uh and before we get in you know i gotta put on my sexy specs so one thing that we're going to do we're going to go over here to the left side right uh, we're going to make sure we're on flux um quality uh we're going to put pro then we're going to go down and upload our image whoop there it is now we're going to go down you see right here the control type we're going to go to edge detect and what that does is it will follow the overall edges of the image and for style we're going to go down to futuristic sci-fi then we're going to add our prompt scared Bigfoot running from UFOs in the forest, trees and the night stars in the sky. Generate. Oh, and it's going. And look at that. You see how it everything is pretty much following the lines of what was there. So now we're going to go and we're going to put in depth analysis. And that's going to follow the shape. Let's go back over here and hit generate. And look at that. He looks like Godzilla. That would be amazing on a t-shirt. So it's all about, you know, changing the parameters and making something bomb happen. Now, let's just say you don't have an image like that. You like to draw or you come up with an idea that doesn't exist. Like, so you sketch something like this, right? This is a pretty detailed sketch, but it doesn't have to be. You just come up with an idea and now you wanna turn that into a t-shirt graph. Let me show you something. So let's go upload that image. See, we have it right there. Then you wanna go down to edge detect. Then you wanna go up. We're gonna change the quality to dev balance. Now let's click generate. Wow, I mean just wow. Look at that and guys, that comes from a sketch. So now we're gonna run it back and we're gonna change the quality to pro and we're gonna change the control type to depth analysis. So we're gonna go over here to generate, OMG. And guys, this comes from a sketch. So think about the possibilities, okay? AI guys, 
Let's get into some text. Okay, so you remember the shirt that we saw on Amazon, right? We're gonna do a version of this. So we're gonna go right here and, and put in our prompt. A graphic t-shirt with the words, I keep my jokes in a database. and should be big and bold and with a fun font. Now let's go over here to the other side. Really important, you wanna make sure that it's in flux and we wanna go down and make sure that the quality is in pro really important so we want to go over here to the side and make sure that we're in flux and also that our quality is in pro very important we're going to come back and make sure our style all the way to the bottom t-shirt design and that's pretty much it let's click generate check that out nice you know what let's click generate again uh, pretty good but let's click generate again Nice, that looks t-shirty, don't it? Now, one more again. You see what I'm saying, guys? All of that from merely, no messing around with fonts or anything like that. All of that from merely a prompt. AI, folks, AI. All right, guys, for AI, that's some pretty good text, and especially for a sentence as long as that so guys that is it there's going to be a link for image presto down in the description box and guys my ai t-shirt design course is so close all right so close to being done the link for that is also going to be right down in the description box and check out this video that we did on making videos in AI and image presto. I think you're gonna get great value from it. Anyway, guys, I fooled around with y'all long enough. I'm finna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the dough. May the universe bless you, and I'm gonna catch you on the other side. Peace. T-shirt help, brusque.